Okay, so today we will be uh, deploying an auto scaling infrastructure in AWS with Terraform and launch templates. So this is the architecture diagram. So using the load balancer and uh, the traffic will be sent to these uh, EC2 instances in the pro uh, private subnet. It is a multi-tier architecture with two availability zones and uh, we will be using the auto scaling group which launch, launch templates and uh, we will be using an SNS topic also and an internet gateway okay so let me bring my, uh, my let me bring my VS code and show you the Terraform manifest files so this is the Terraform block where we are having AWS, Null and Random. Region is US East 1. For the variables as you can see, AWS region, US East 1. Let us go to the VPC module. In the VPC, we are giving it a name, the source module, CIDR block, availability zones, the public subnet and the private subnets we are also giving it a database subnets we are also enabling the NAT gateway and enabling the DNS host names going forward let us go to the security group for our bastion host so in this file we are giving it a source AWS module version the name our public bastion security group the description and also the vpc id and for the ingress rules we are giving it an ssh access the cider block is all for our private instances in our private subnets we are giving it a source module a version name description also the VPC ID which is, which is our CIDR block for the ingress rules we are opening it to SSH TCP and HTTP 80 and the ingress CIDR block is our VPC CIDR block which is this 10 16 0 0 slash 16 going forward let us go to the EC2 instance which is a bastion host public instance we are giving it a source, the version, name, AMI ID, the instance type, the Amazon key instance key pair, the PEM file, and the subnet ID, and also the VPC security group IDs. Going forward, let us go to the uh, Elastic IP that we will be creating. This is the null resource where we are, where we are sending our private key, uh, the Terraform PEM file, to our uh, Bastion host. This is the file provisioner. This is the connection block, and this is the remote access. Let us go to the ALB module. Here we are giving it AWS module for ALB, the version, the name, the load balancer, VPC ID, the subnets, and the security groups. Going forward, we are giving it an HTTP TCP listener at port 80 and the protocol is HTTP. Okay, now let us go to the auto scaling group which is a launch template resource and here we are giving it a name a description the image id instance type the security group id instance key pair and this is where we are giving it our user data the apache user apache file that we have created here okay so ebs is optimized true update default version is true block device mapping the EBS volume 
20 gigs of uh, EBS volume, delete and termination is true and volume type is GP2. Monitoring we are enabling to true. Going forward we will be uh, looking forward to the auto scaling group resource where we are giving it a name prefix. The desired capacity of two instances, the max capacity max size of 10 instances and the minimum size is two instances the VPC zone identifier is the our subnets private subnets target group ARNs is our target group ARNs health check we are setting it to EC2 going forward we are giving it a launch template which we just created in our last manifest file we are referencing here with the ID and also the version the instance refresh strategy is to rolling and the preferences is minimum health percentage should be 50 and we are setting the triggers to desired capacity going forward this is the sns topic for the auto scaling group we are creating an sns topic and we are give, uh, subscribing our email address and also the notifications okay so let's go forward this is the auto scaling group for the target tracking scaling policies where we are giving a name the policy type the auto scaling group name and the estimated instance warm-up this is in seconds lastly let us go to the schedule actions where we are uh, increasing our capacity and this is one more where we are decreasing our capacity so let us uh, go to our terminal so we are at our terminal let us do a let us see which folder we are in okay let's cd into the terraform manifest folder clear let's do a terraform in it this will initialize the backend install all the plugins and the, all the modules so terraform has successfully initialized let's clear the screen now do terraform validate it will see if our manifest file have any problems in it so no there is no problem success the configuration is valid now let us do terraform plan so it will give us all the resources that it will be creating in the next step it will give us the plan so I think in total there are 50 resources that we will be creating and these are all the outputs that we have asked it let us go forward and do a terraform apply but uh, let us auto approve also terraform apply dash auto dash approve so we don't have to give the enter a value yes value in between so now let us uh, wait till all the resources in AWS are created okay so it has completed now it has uh, completed the apply complete resources 50 added zero change and zero destroyed these are all the outputs that we asked for in the output files now let us go towards the AWS console and first we will be seeing the EC2 instance, the VPC, simple notification service. Okay, let's start with the VPC. So here in the VPC console we can see that it has created two VPCs for us one is the default one and second one is the custom that we just created we have created a NAT gateway there is six subnets created
okay let us go to the vpc click on the vpc id and here you can see it has created six vpc six subnets for us three in us east 1a and three in es us east 1b you can also cross verify from the subnets panel it has created route tables the internet gateway is also created here this is this this is the one going forward it has also created NAT gateway for us and also the elastic IPs so it has created all the things that we asked it in our Terraform manifest files going forward to the EC2 instance dashboard so we have three instances running let us go to the instances we will be finding two v two private sub two private institute instances and one of them should be in the passion host yes to our test this is our uh, ec2 instance in the private subnet and this is the one the passion host is in the public subnet now let us go towards the load balancer In our load balancer we have in the listeners and rules you can see we have a protocol of HTTP 80 and a forward to target group so this is our target group let's go to the target group management console and here we can see we have total of two targets both are in healthy state and these are the IDs or the instance ID of our uh, of our target groups port is 80 the name is test and is in us east 1a the other is in us east 1b the health check panel okay so let us now go towards the launch templates that we created This is a launch template that we created. You can see the storage of 20 gigs, GPT-2, EBS volume. Okay. Version is default version, yes. Now, let me also show you the auto scaling group. So this is the auto scaling group where we can see the instances T3 micro, the key pair, storage, volume, our AMI ID, the network, there are two net there are two available zones, the subnet IDs, the load balancer attached to it. You can find many things here. So this is the activity panel and the activity history. So in the automatic scaling, we have a ALB target request and also the average CPU policy greater than XS. Here as required to maintain average CPU utilization at 50% okay in the scheduled we are decreasing capacity and also increasing capacity we have two scheduled actions here okay lastly let me show you also the simple notification service the SNS topic that we created and so this is the topic that we created actually I haven't confirmed it yet but uh, it shows that it has created that policy now okay so lastly let me go to my terminal clear the screen and I will do a terraform apply terraform apply dash destroy dash auto dash approve okay so that's pretty much it thank you